2010 pivot tables. So in this spreadsheet here, we've got 12 months of data. We've got a uh, number of units sold. Not sure what we're selling actually, but we'll just say units sold in these five cities here. And what we're going to do is we're going to highlight this area. And we'll go ahead and uh, click on insert, pivot table, down to pivot table. Now let's uh, maybe talk a little bit about what pivot tables actually are. We've got this sheet here with just a bunch of data. Basically, we're going to make this data come alive. <coughs> so our row labels on the left-hand side will be months. And we'll go ahead and select whichever cities we want to analyze or compare. So let's just say we're comparing Denver and San Diego. And let's just say that uh, instead of the sum, we might want to change the value field setting to average. And we might want to do the same thing for San Diego as well, value uh, field settings and change that to average. So pivot table is really a, a business intelligence tool that's going to allow us to look at um, our data in a in a more um, useful way, really. So let's just say we want to include Tucson as well. We might want to include Honolulu. We might want to get rid of Denver. We might want to get rid of San Diego. So we're really taking boring old data and making it come alive and making it dynamic and allowing us to look at it in a more useful way. There are a number of other features that you can use in um, Excel 2010's pivot table feature and, and a lot of them have to do with appearance but if we're a decision maker working for an organization um, you know these tools that I've just shown you are are going to be pretty useful and allow you to extract useful information and analyze your data in ways that um, you know, looking at something like this just doesn't give you. Okay, so that's just a real simple look at pivot tables in Excel 2010.